Uh, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed. The first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now, I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microsonic energy device, this box. This is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure energy. As you can see, the power of the cable was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there's no power as you can see. The television is, it is working as it is. So in Lyman, I think this television is a, we can call it a, a self-powered television. So guys, you see that Maxwell Tukumboso invented a new way to power electric, um, how to power alliance, um, appliances and cars and other stuff. But uh, you see that in the, in the, as I can't in the video, but for this purpose, Right here with the television, you see, he chopped radio waves, turned it into electricity to power a television. First of its kind. And mind you, this guy dropped out of school when he was 14. He didn't go to university or college. He self read, self taught. And my don't forget this say, of scientists who go to universities, get their masters and their doctorates, and they still haven't um, in, um, come to this conclusion where Maxwell had come and can build the actual device that chop radio waves and turn it into into energy so what do you think they're gonna do to this guy they're gonna try to kill him at some point or they won't patent his stuff but before i get ahead of myself let's continue with this video and see exactly what this guy's capable of then we discuss it a brief trip into the future with inventor maxwell chikumbuzo he's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy at the power train we did it in house uh, which makes it the, fair, the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging systems on the greener power of grid machine it's very unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. That's why we end up finding nuclear scientists, electromagnetic professors, so that they can assist us on the patent process. But as you are aware that in, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion device. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. From our skin color. We don't believe on ourselves. But obviously a, a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. Zimbabwean scientists who spoke to the SABC also expressed skepticism, but Chikumbutso brushes the naysayers aside. He says he's determined to ensure that his God-given gift brings energy to light up the continent and put Zimbabwe on the technological map. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe. So guys, you see there, the guy invented, not invented, what he invented? Well, it is, he invented, but you see the, the self-powered car and the self-power generator and the helicopter that can use any fuel, any of the five fuel, which means diesel, oil, gas, kerosene, and, um, petrol, all that. Whatever they use, it can use it to power that um, helicopter and the, um, the, the drone is powered by the same process or the same mach um, prototype that they use to power the TV, the fridge, 
and you can power a TV, fridge, AC, you can say you can power all like, um, appliances. And then he actually powered a car, and a whole complete car with this. That's mean he would beat out Tels um, Tesla with the with battery powered car. He beat out every company that ever made a car, diesel, gas, or electric, right? So this can crash and bankrupt companies, especially companies who put forward this especially electric cars with electric cars remember you have to be plugged into a wall but now with Maxwell Chukumbuso technology the car is self-powered so it never needs to recharge and don't forget people radio waves is, is everlasting it's not like you're gonna radio is gonna stop one day with radio waves is everlasting so you will need for the power the power in this car it will never run out of power and the generator as I saw it amplifies and give you more um, current, boosts your current electrical output. So in, in, it's like you use less from from the, the, the electrical companies and you can use a generator to power your house. So again, this will crash electrical companies. It will crash oil companies because the biggest um, product that the biggest um, use of oil is to power cars, machines, tractors, anything that have four wheels and runs, planes, all of that. So to put a big dent in the profit margin line, right? And that's the reason why, you see, even this billionaire pour billions of dollars into his product. But yet still, it still can't come to fruition. So you need governmental help, which means, and it's a government, I mean, you need African government help because no African... No Western country is gonna allow him to get patent for this because if he get patent for this, again, from Toyota to to um, what the big companies and the GM, all those Lexus, Audi, all those big brands, they will lose out because who wouldn't want to sell a power car? You don't have to buy diesel, you don't have to buy, you don't have to plug it in. Who wouldn't love that? It's a and for electrical stuff, um appliances like your house imagine you don't need electricity to run your fridge your tv your um your ac all appliances it will be self-powered electrical companies cannot make no money they will go broke and it could, it could crash a few economies too because people is dependent um governments are dependent heavily on um the light company water company and the gas company and if those two come out of take out of out, come out the light and the gas come out of it, there's a big dent gonna be in any economy worldwide. You see me? And um look at this video, this picture, this video, this picture right here. You see? They actually tried to poison him. You see, he's that's he that's when he went to the States trying to get the pattern. They poisoned him. And I heard um that I read somewhere, I was in this video side. Anyway, that they hired hitmen to take him out but luckily he escaped his team helps him so that's a plus and also i heard um this a chinese guy had do something similar to this and they kill him instantly right off the bat he didn't have a chance to enjoy it so um i'm gonna put this up i'm gonna read it and then we'll continue speaking history has taught us how the cabals operate at different levels and how dangerous free energy is the cabals won't fight non-threatening ideas and inventions. They focus on fighting what seems to have great potential. The cabals actually have people who work for them in many powerful offices such as media, finance, politicians and governments. So here is what they will do so as to frustrate if they see that the idea or invention has a great potential. Here we go. They will make sure that you will not get a patent or any potent office around the world. They use this statue, inventions which are frivolous are contrary to well-established natural laws. For example, inventions that are against the natural laws of any machines given 100% efficiency or any machine given output without the common input cannot be considered as obvious and cannot be potent, patented. Automatically, Free energy devices won't be patented, patentable under the law. That is why we are here today and we had to take the trade secret 
road trying to protect the IP since we could not get a patent. So guys, here you see, he have to um, hide, basically, sorry, one minute. He have to protect um, his trade secret because he cannot get it patented. Because if he can't get it patent, he cannot sell it. Because if he sell it, anyone can go and take it and then use that device as their own and patent it and get and get billions of dollars from it. Because that is the only way I think he will ever get this thing patented is if a Western person come and take it and then then they have a, a lot of they will patent it. Because as the guy said in the video, because he's black and he's a, and, and he's an African, I can't tell them. Nothing good can come to Africa, which is where everything had come from good out of Africa because they keep on stealing and you and re and redesigning African inventions as their own. So this is why he cannot put any he cannot sell anything right now to nobody because they will take they will steal steal his partner and his trade and well, and they're gonna try to kill him again. I'm guaranteed they're gonna try to kill him again at some point. But I, he's from he's a Zimbabwean, right? He's from Zimbabwe, so I hope the Zimbabwe government should get involved in this and try to get a patent for him, which is unlikely because too many companies depend on depend on um, energy, the money from the energy and the money from the gas from the oil companies them to build in, build nations and to put money elsewhere. Because you see, at the end of the day, no one is trying to help poor people. No one. All governments and corporations thinking about making money and the best way for them to make it. So if you develop something to make they make less money, as they said with the cabals, they're not going to make a get patent for nothing that will help humans. You understand? It's not gonna happen. So I hope this billionaire this millionaire guy who put money in in this didn't don't lose all his money, even though they said that Angola and Brazil are gonna um, buy it, but Again, they can't sell it to them until it's patented, so they cannot be stolen. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna keep following um Maxwell Chukumboso to make sure that um I can give some follow up whenever if he get the patent, which I highly doubt it. He have, he have maybe like a two percent chance of ever getting that patent. So come on, think about the people. A self-powered appliances, a self-powered car. What thing gonna happen? People wouldn't, then people wouldn't need gas. Um, people wouldn't need as much gas. People would need current to run anything. They don't, they don't want to use current for light, and they can use solar for that. So you people would basically cut off the current off the the every country um, current current um, electrical company. You don't cut from the You don't need it. All all appliances they have is self powered. So all they need is light, and they can get through solar solar panels. So. Boy, this is a great invention and I hope that's just to show you how great Africa the continent is. They have everything and everything and anything they will ever need to build Africa. But again, anybody who step up to help um, Maxwell, the West and the powers to be gonna dismantle that president, a president of Africa, and dismantle that, that economy. Say they are terrorists or say they are dictators or find them or find something to destabilize the country and to and, um, kill them off. I'm telling you, if this should get put to the masses by any African nation, what chance see? So, again, I hope you learned something. You can go and do some research on it um, on your own as, as well to get more familiar with him, with Maxwell, and um, to show that it's not, he's been, he's been fought on every and every end every angle so you don't know go and do some research on your own and you can get to continue the the um the sending a message to the world that uh, this is possible but it won't be because of the powers to be so you don't know don't know this is washington sxm podcast like share, comment, and subscribe don't forget to subscribe people help grow the channel and for me to do more videos i don't know peace one love boom